Hello to everybody. Today I make tutorial about pre-recorded live loops on Kronos. go to sequencer I already made template song Kronos have very nice shortcut system And you need push together enter and five. Now find your user template song. I can zoom shortcut is enter and five enter and five I find my template song called live loops OK, and now go to control surface and check link keyboard to on. Press exit. Now I have my tracks. First track is synth. Track 2 is Rhythmic Quitter. Track 3 is Chums. Track 3, 5 and 7 is Chums. 4 is Pace. Drums, bass, drums, bass. Select track three, drums. Go to preferences. Loop all tracks. One, two, one. Make resolution. Track free, we record hi hats. Go to track edit. Menu and MIDI step recording. Record Hyatt's steps. We 
this is not working. Also not right. Go to shortcut, enter and two. And try again, hi-hats. Now with working. Go to menu and quantize. Select node and push you enter and hi hats together. And again top note enter and hi hat key. Select resolution. Offset minus four. Swing sixty six. Okay, and now you listen. Hi hats working, swinging very well. And now you can record your kick drop. Exit and go to preferences. Start record. Very nice. Now open hi hat. Not working. Select remove and key. Open hi hat. And record again. Now it's working. Go to claps, record. Not good, go to compare and record again. Not good. Can better push compare and record again. Now with nice sound. Go to track edit. menu and repeat back to preferences and change one to one measures one to two. Check. Go to track edit menu and copy tracks. Copy track three to five and track three to seven. Now you have a three drum tracks. You can now uncheck five and seven. 
and now you listen just drums on track 3. You not need to kick drum on first pattern. Go to preferences and start record. Remove data. Select kick key. Not need claps. Remove data. And now first drum pattern working nice. Select drums on track five. Too much kick drum. You can remove. You can remove claps also. Now your drums on track five sounds good. And track seven drums sounds good also. Let's record bass. Track 3 is drums. Go to track 4. Your bass sound. Let's record. Okay, and now track five, drums. And select track six for bass. Let's record. Let's correct velocity. And last bass sound is on track 8. Track 7 drums. And let's record bass on track 8. Now you 
have bass and drums pre-recorded patterns, loops. You also need some tr drum fills. Go to track 10. Exit and go to pattern RPPR. Select pattern name. And you can now record. Assign first pattern to MIDI track 10. Mode to once. Test to record the drum fill. Okay, check with two ones, and now it's working very well. You can make another RPP -er pattern. Track 10. Pattern 2. And now you record and you can try step recording function. Test your patterns. And now your drum fills patterns. Sounds good. Just add a cress with step recorder.
and now you can play your pre-recorded loops song live select solo and make sure track 10 1 and 2 is selected start playing you can record your quit quitter rhythm quitter on track 2 and with now looping go to track 1 Select track three and four. Thank you. 